If you're familiar with Android devices, then you've likely heard of recovery mode before. This is a special boot mode that is used anytime that you can't boot into Android and you want to do, say, a factory reset. Or you can apply an update to your device in recovery mode. And if you end up installing a custom recovery like TWRP, then that is how you boot into that custom recovery. So today I want to show you how to boot the essential phone into recovery mode. And we're going to start that by powering off the device. Just wait till the device is completely powered down. Then we're going to boot up into fast boot mode. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do any of this, be sure to check the full tutorial that will be linked below this video as I'll have the step-by-step -step instructions detailed there. So as we get into fast boot mode, we're going to need to use the volume up, volume down, and power buttons to control this screen since the touch screen is not working and it has been disabled. So we're just going to press the volume up, volume down button a few times until the recovery mode option is highlighted. Then press the power button to select that option. We're going to see the essential phone reboot. And then it's going to boot us into this recovery mode splash screen. Now if you sit here long enough, the phone will actually reboot and take you back into Android. So from here you want to press and hold the power button. And then immediately after you press the power button and continue holding the power button, press the volume up button. The combination is rather tricky, but again, you want to press down the power button. And as soon as you press that power button, press the volume up button. And then that will boot you into the actual recovery mode. And just like with fast boot mode, you're going to use the volume up and volume down buttons to control the highlighter. And from here, we can do things like reboot back into fast boot mode. We can apply an over-the-air update via ADB. We can wipe the data and do a factory reset. We can mount the system partition, view recovery logs, run our graphics test, or just power the device off. So if you accidentally boot into here or if you're done tinkering with the recovery mode, you just want to highlight the reboot system now button, press the power button, that's going to reboot our device again. And this is just going to boot us back into Android. Now, if you have TWRP installed, you will not get that recovery mode splash screen. And instead, you'll just be taken right into the TWRP main menu. But that is how to boot the essential phone into recovery mode.